guys. Today, we're gonna look at this microphone. This is a Lyra Ultra HD multi-mode USB microphone by Harman. It's the AKG model. This is a microphone that I got. Now, we're already, we're listening using this microphone. This is a USB mic that I have right now. It's by M Audio. And I actually really like this microphone. Um, in the $50 price range, it, this was about 50 bucks, and this has been worth every penny of it. It's been great. However, in the last year or so, as we started doing a lot more things online because of COVID, I started um, teaching a lot of lessons. So I'm a, I'm a school teacher, and I started teaching a lot of lessons online. I also started some podcasts in the last year, and I've been doing a lot more YouTube videos. I just got to the point where I felt I needed to upgrade the quality of my audio. And there's a big difference between a $50 microphone and a $150 microphone. So I did a lot of research and I went online and there were two things that mattered to me. One was improving the quality of the audio. And then second, having a microphone that looks great on camera. And I know that seems a little silly, but as a podcaster and as a YouTuber, I really wanted something that looked really cool online. So I looked at a lot of old timey microphones and most of those were low quality audio and just not worth it. And then on the high end, you can go into the four or $500 range and get some vocal mics that are for recording, like for music and stuff. And that just didn't work for me either. It gave the right look, but it wasn't right for podcasting. So what I settled on was this, this was the highest rated microphone that looked really cool. There were other really highly rated microphones as well, but just didn't have the right look. And so that's why I looked at this one. Let's go ahead and take it out of the box and tell you some of the features. Now let's zoom in just so you can see it. You'll notice here on the dial, we've got a mic microphone pattern on this side, microphone gain on this side. And then on this other side, we've got a mute button, front, front and back, tight stereo, wide stereo. So we've got a bunch of different options. We need to plug it in. First, let's see how to plug it in. So what we have, it looks like a USB-C cord that plugs into it, which is handy. That's what most of the cell phones now are using. And then it just hooks USB right in uh, to that. So let's get it plugged into the computer and we'll see if there's any difference in audio quality. So I'm gonna unplug the audio I have. And I'll plug this one in. So it's setting up the device right now. Um, so just plug and play basically. So it's, it's downloading the driver and sticking that on. All right, it says it's ready to use. So I, all I have to do is switch my audio settings here in, in the Zoom. I'm recording this today on this a Zoom video. So I'm going to go to my video settings, head to audio, and switch from the computer mic to this mic. All right, so we should be on test mic. I can test, test, one, two, three. See how that goes. OK, so let's look at some of these settings. If I use the dial in the back, that's going to show what's happening here. So right now we're on the front mic. So if I'm talking to the front, that's great. And you, most of the time I'll be on that. But I can switch it to front and back. And that's going to work when I have a guest in studio. So if I have someone on this side of the microphone and this side of the microphone, we've got front and back. Um, I'm going to switch it now down to, what is that? Tight stereo. So here's tight stereo. I don't know if that's any different. Uh, we'll find out soon enough. And then wide stereo. So this is the wide stereo. So I'll dig into those settings a little more as I, I play with it. Now, the other thing, this is what was switching on the front, the microphone pattern. But we also have gain here on the back. So I can switch that. And that changes my gain. So I'm going all the way to the right with the gain. And then I turn it all the way to the left. I don't know if that will make much of an impact here in studio, but I'm just going to leave it right in the middle. And then, of course, we've got the volume here. So while I'm recording, I can move it down or I can move it up. Uh, typically, I want to be around this level. 
And I also have a mute button. So while I'm talking, I can. I don't know if that muted me, but the red button comes on when you're on mute. So if you're recording, you can just hit that. And I, I don't know why you'd want to mute yourself in the middle of a recording, but of course um, there would be different opportunities or instances for that. So here's the mic in a nutshell. Now you'll notice I don't have it on a stand right now because this is something that I'm going to put on a table for when I have guests. Um, I have other microphones that I put on a stand for things like this, where I'm more in my studio and I have my background and stuff like that. Um, so this will work. Great setup. You know, I can show kind of how it would look here just by putting it on the edge of my computer. It looks really cool. So even podcasting just like this, where you see the, the microphone a little bit in shot, that looks kind of cool, you know. And if I had a desk here, then I would set it up. Actually, you would want it. Typically, I'd have to switch my lighting, but um, I'd want it just like this right in front of me, and it's set up perfect for recording. So pretty easy setup. Um, the, the options are really easy, so it's easy to figure out. Um, I'm going to have to do some tests, and, and we'll go from there.